Flying Dutchman really just has his squad pulled up in front of the moon like that. I bet is that his own moon? Honestly, like that's not the normal moon, is it? Like, bro, he really pulled up here with his own moon. Is he allowed to do that? Is that legal? Did he even pay the parking fee? Do you have your, your receipt for parking? I'm about to call the police. Anyways, what's up, Ant City? And welcome back to another episode of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we finished up the kelp forest. We got all the spatulas. Uh, we're just missing like one or two socks, I think. But we pretty much got everything done there. Um, and yeah, that was what we did. So now we're going to go ahead and head to the next area, which is the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, I think it's called. Let me see. Yeah, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. All right. So we're going to head straight into there next. Look at this. There's a chest here. It says beware. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see how big of an area this is, because this is basically the last main area. So we're coming up on the end of the game, because after that, all we have left is SpongeBob's Dream, which I don't know how, I don't know how that area works. So we'll find out. But then after that, the vi like the next video after that, we're going to go ahead and get any spatulas remaining that we don't have, uh, including the shiny object ones and stuff. So we're going to get any spatulas we don't have. And then we're also going to go back and get all the socks we don't have. So, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to do that after we finish Flying Dutchman and SpongeBob's Dream. I meant Flying this one. Not, that's not Flying Dutchman. Yeah, after we do this, it's SpongeBob's Dream. We're going to go back and get every sock and spatula we're missing. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the Chum Bucket. Because I'm pretty sure that's the final area of the game. Uh, so yeah, really the big thing is going to be grinding out shiny objects though. Because we need to give Mr. Krabs a lot. And then for the movie theater, we need 40,000. So I'm going to have to look up a strategy for that. But yeah, other than that though, without further ado, let's head to the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. The Flying Dutchman, Davy Jones Locker. Okay, let's go. The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. Ooh, I like that, like, synth music here. Like, what is it called? Like, synth wave, synth something. I don't know, that kind of music. But look at the diamond. Bro, why are you str- I'm not even gonna finish that sentence, but... Ooh. A little bass? Okay, Flying Dutchman got a little bit of a drip. How did the taxi pull up here, by the way? Where did it come from? I don't know, but let's go talk to the Flying Dutchman. Beware. Let's go talk to him. Oh, yes. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going. Beds, we gotta go. Look at how mad he is, though. Can I even? Oh, I can't hit him. Dang. Body him. Look at that. And he's, he's just unfazed. He's like, oh, oh I, I think I gave him a little bruise. You saw him? You saw him rubbing his um legs? I don't know what you call it. His swirl? You saw him rubbing his swirl? I think I gave him a little boo boo. I'm sorry. Look at his nose. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Uh, uh! Get out of here! You just got me off the- Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Ha, ha, ha. I'm totally destroyed the hell! You didn't act to me! I'll find you! You can't hide from me! I bet it was all it was you, you little yellow! Okay, I don't, I don't know. So he, there's a new type of robot here and he shoots can cannonballs? Can I miss one? Tactical new? Okay, I got rid of that. My tactical new come again now. Try one more time. Tactical no! So yeah, that gets rid of his shield. So I think after that, I just gotta run up and hit him. 
Didn't I, how did that not knock him off? Bro. He's dying. Oh no, I went with him! That wasn't the plan. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if I can attack Luka from this far. No, we're way too far away for that. Oh, we're not actually. Hold on. Let's do it again then. We actually made it to him somehow. Get him again. Oh, but it takes too long for the thing. So let's get a little closer and do it again. We should be able to kill him. Missile and then a missile two. Right away. Look at this. Ooh, got him. Knocked him straight off. There we go. Tactical nuke, man. Such a good... Uh, so we can go that way. There's a lot of ways to go here, but... Ooh. I like the music. It's just every song in this game is kind of fire. I'm not going to even lie. Like, this game has a really good soundtrack. <laughs> I won't lie. Like, it, it's really good for how they theme the areas. Like, they have, like, the perfect music. I have to teleport box. I know what those are. I guess we're going to have to drain this green goop at some point. Because it looks like I can wall jump down here, at, like, later. So we'll worry about that a bit. I guess all we can really go is this way. So let's go this way. Look at, this, look at this, like, poisonous tartar sauce, bro. Anyway, let's jump across. Hopefully. Trying to attack the nuke me, but too bad, because I have the upper hand. Oh, is there a, is an already pushed button? Oh, and then we hit that side, and then it moves it. Oh, I see. So these can be used for wall jumps. That's pretty cool, actually, that you have, like, the, put, the button's already pushed, and you have to push the other one. What's this for? Eat the it doesn't even tell me what it does. I'm gonna feed it. Oh, it opened that chest, and there's a button in there. Oh. Well, let's see what that does. What is this? Slam down. Over here. Oh, that. Oh, okay, that's where I was just now. That that's a drain. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? I guess I can't use it yet? Let me see it again. I don't think I can use I think that drain's like broken or something. Cause I, it it just made a noise and didn't work. Because like, you saw the drain's all like sparking and stuff. Uh, see, so I think... Unless it's a cage, that might not be a drain. So we gotta do something about that. Oh! Okay, so it's telling me I gotta do something about that robot that's throwing up all this goo. Okay. So we gotta do something about that first. And then we can work with that cage thing. So, bet. Okay. So then, yeah, for now, we'll just head up. So we'll all jump up. Terror oh, it's these guys. You've just met the sponginator. And, but yeah, I really like this area. <laughs> but I mean, I've said that about like every area. It's just, the game has such nice like music, nice areas. Like, just the aesthetics of everything is really Sometimes nice. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Let's do this. Then. Walking. We just face plan. Nuke, the nuke. Oh, I was gonna say we hit each other, but he hit me first. Okay, let's move before I get hit again. So let's see, moving this. I don't know what the is. But I know I can push this back now. Oh shit. He's there, there. I can push that that way. And then we could wall jump on between these. I don't know what, how that really benefits me, though. But what I do know is we can use this to get in here, so that works. Oh, we have to tactical nuke that guy. Okay. I see. So we gotta We gotta take the nuke. You see how he's got a big button on his eye? We gotta I think that's for the nuke. Like isn't that the symbol they use for the missile? I think it is. Anyway, let's get rid of this guy real quick. Look, straight shot, straight shot. Go down a little bit. Boom. Got him. Alright, so now we're gonna try to nuke that guy. Die. This is a little bit of a weird platform, but if I do it correct. It should be. There we go. Can I not go between there? Yeah. Let's, let's just go around. We can go over, actually. There we go. That's him in the eye. There we go. That closed it off. And now we can go get that. That's a golden spatula in there. Okay, so now we can go get that. We'll do that in a little bit, though. Now we're going to keep going. Since we're already all this far as well. Oh, those guys. Ow, I got hit in there. Knock them off. And yeah, okay, so there's a window here. 
What is this for? Can I shoot a nuke out of it? Can I actually not shoot a nuke? It, it, must, it must be a closed window? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's open, so I thought I could throw stuff through it, but I guess not. Um, yeah, I get, and, and clearly we do have to come through our Sandy at some point, so we'll worry about that when we get there, though. And then let's potty that dude. Who's this guy? <laughs> Alright, we back. So, oh, we gotta do this again. <laughs> well, really, all we need to do is push this, and then we can essentially just make it up. But we can actually just do this, and then we can make it to you. <laughs> Easy. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Nuke him. Nuke the nuker. There you go. Then this guy. Got another one. Hit him right in the legs. There we go. Hit him in his tires. Hit him in that rubber. Anyway, so let's continue going the way we were going. And actually, we're gonna be smart and start new. We gotta just get this guy out the way early. Straight shot, gotta go up a little bit. Boom. That nuke, that ability, like having a ranged attack on SpongeBob, other than the bowl, the bubble bowl, is really good. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's really, really clutch to have that. We need to move that. So we gotta hit this. This. Hit it. There we go. Then we can move this one back. Don't stop face planting into his one. Look, he just he jumped on like rope. It's funny how you can face plant into these platforms. Just... Where's that respawn? Oh, it's up there. Oh, Got him. The dupe drawn. It's destroyed now. Bet, so now let's hit this. Whoa! Almost killed me. That was almost dangerous for me. Almost button and I think we can actually use this yeah we can get on top of it oh we gotta get over there I think I can make that jump yeah I can hit the button that breaks that and builds a little bridge for us this POV shot that's cool uh, all right so let's head down this onto our little bridge that we made here now let's go oh we slide on it say what happened to the music why did it get up i think it's because it was going to start the slide music but it was too quick so it didn't actually start it oh okay this is where the flying dutchman wanted us to go pick this up kiss the crowd laugh at him and then okay so jump down so this is for the next area okay so before we leave, though, I do want to actually go get that one golden spatula from the button. I want to go do that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to jump in this box. And yeah, we have to come back right here as Sandy later. For now, let's get in the box. Then, whoa. Oh, okay, so yeah, we got to come here. Let's wall jump. Spam that A button. There we go. Guy there, but we're just going to ignore him. We got to go. I think the button was this one. Yeah, it was down there. We gotta hit that button, then oh, follow the path. I see it. So we can actually go down here now. Yeah, because now that guy's not throwing up. Is that? Oh, that's a that's the ball. I was like, what is that? I thought it was like a fish or something. Speaking of, I haven't seen any fish in this level yet to beat up. So interesting. Anyways, let's go. Sponge ball. Oh no, he hit me. We gotta just run. We gotta run for it. I barely got it. Oh my god. The cage was actually going to even close on me just now. Put it locked in there, bro. Alright, but we got the spatula, so let's wall jump up here. Really fast. <laughs> and then we're going to head to the next area. Because I don't see a place to switch to Sandy yet, unless I'm blind. That's happened multiple times. I have missed bus stops, so I wouldn't be surprised. But for now, though, we're just going to go ahead to the next section of the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? 
That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Platinum whisk. Okay, okay, squid. Anyway. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Blow this up right here. Boom. That almost actually worked perfect. That worked almost exactly how I went. Come on. Down. Slam down. There we go. I got stuck on the thing for a second. Okay, so we got another area which got to climb up. Seems pretty straightforward. Some platforming. Oh, these the, the, the platforms like oh they fall. That's why I was vibrating. Okay. Glad I noticed in time. Yeah, I like. I feel like a new sponge. Just like I, I don't know like what instrument that is, but yeah. Right, so we can wall jump here. Y'all notice how the camera just changed? Yeah, it, it turns automatic when you walk in there. Weird. Wall jump now. Slide now. Oh, almost got me off. Goodbye. You bonk yourself in the head. Nothing here. It's a little roundabout. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Walk into this guy. Okay, run. So yeah, we can switch to someone else if we want. I think we need to be Sandy here. So yeah, we're gonna switch to Sandy now. Let's go. Howdy, y'all. I'm playing as a squirrel because they're so darn stupid. Fly. Or helicopter Sandy. Uh, I guess we go up there because there's a box. Yep. That's right. I assume we have to go. That's not a box, actually. Never mind. I'm, I'm still assuming we have to go. Is this the beginning? Is that Squidward down there? Well, there's a box, but yeah, I think this is where we needed to go. Sandy with Miss Cheats. Fly over. Lasso. Ooh, you saw that little spin move she did? She did a little spin kick and body. Thing. That was nice. That was clean. Look at this. This little... Oh, I didn't do this with that. Though. Let's still just eat. Potty. And now we gotta switch back to Spongebob. So, I guess this stage is supposed to be... Because you know, I know the last one, I had to switch... Like, in, in the kelp forest, the caves, I had to switch between Spongebob and Patrick. So now, we switch between um, Sandy and Spongebob. It's pretty cool. Let's head up here before it pushes me. I think the thing... Yeah, it does move to push you. Interesting. Oh, and we can wall jump on this. You gotta go like sideways. That that looks so weird. <laughs> that looks really weird. <laughs> I don't know. The animation for it was just like <laughs> so. It was so weird. Go down. Wow. Hit him. Hit him. Let's go. Now it's wall jump. Yee. Look at how weird. <laughs> like, I guess it's just because he's going at an angle. It looks really weird. <laughs> he's like. Thrust! Pelvic thrust! Woo! Woo! I almost died. I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. Woo! You can just do it so fast. It looks so weird. Anyway, like, oh no! No! Please! Ah! Okay, we're back to here. Um, so we're not doing that again. <laughs> this time. Like, look, he's going at such a weird angle, too. That does not help his pace. Body bag. Alright. Can I? Oh, I almost died. Can I nuke him from here and hit him in time? I think I can. Just throw another one out. Straight shot. Turn it a bit. Oh, straight shot. Boom. Hey, what? He just ate it? Why did he just eat it? Should have killed. There we go. I think the when he ate it just now, I think I hit him as soon as his thing respawned. I think that's what happened. His shield. I think it spawned the moment I hit him. Or like the moment before maybe. So it like didn't count the damage. But yeah, see that that nuke ability makes things so much easier. <laughs> and now I understand why they made a robot with it. Okay, tell me how this makes any sense that I can wall jump on platforms. Like like imagine trying to like Jump off of these things. They're made of fabric. How is that? How does that make any sense? To ride the bungee? Bet I'll ride the bungee. Bungee, no 343. Whoa, this looks cool. What is that? A dimension to another universe? What is this? Are you supposed to be hitting? Oh, there's a golden spatula there. That, wow. A whole golden spatula. There. I kind of want to hit these guys on the sides. So I don't know if I can. Come here, sir. That. The controls for this one are really weird. You just go like straight down, basically. Yeah, that's like a portal to a new dimension or something. Anyways, golden spatula for me. I will take it. And we'll continue going then. 
yeah, we haven't even finished exploring this area. So, this was the checkpoint. Yeah, we got to wall jump off these fabrics, which doesn't make any sense. But, whatever. SpongeBob game, I guess. I can't ask for too much logic. He's got a timer jump. There we go. Thanks, SpongeBob just threw himself off that thing. Jeez. It's like, yeah, how can I wall jump? Like, like it's a solid wall on fabric. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But, it, it's SpongeBob, like, like I said. So, what do we do with these? Oh, we can wall jump. All right, so yeah, we can wall jump off of these. That's cool. Just gotta time it. Oh, I almost met. Whoa! It's going to lock. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? Why did what? <laughs> that was so weird. He launched himself an extra time. Now he's just soaring over this one. Okay, let's start by jumping on this one. There you go. Let me time it. Just, I did it too early. But I'm stuck. Okay. I don't know what is going on, but this is kind of cool. The, spl the spinning platforms you all jump off. That's cool. I hit I hit it. Go, go, go. The top of this one. I hit it right in the middle. There we go. That's the sweet spot there. There we go. Launch yourselves. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Get him. Audio. Little robots, these little guys, little guys, little guys. Go oh. on them. There he is. Okay. Jeez, <laughs> I was getting jumped there. All right, blow up, blow up, and then let's go get that spatula that Squidward was telling us. And then I guess we take a boat ride. Yeah, that's a box that opens up. We have 66 spatulas. I actually don't know how many spatulas are in the game. I think there's 80 because I know there's 80 socks. I thought that was a sock. I was going to say, speaking of sock. Oh, yeah, double speaking of socks. Have we gotten any? There are only three, and we've gotten none of them. I guess we just have Oh, so we take this to actually get to the Dutchman ship. That's actually cool. I like, all right, let's go. If only it actually played an animation, though. That would be extra fire, but it's whatever. All right, bet. So what's the button do? Oh, this is how we get back. Okay. We want to leave back to the graveyard. Okay. So... Let's head up here and talk to Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! I should kick your fucking ass! Swab the poop deck! Arr, arr, arr. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is! Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Can and do, Mr. Krabs. Okay. So that, th that was... Anyway, I'm not even comment on it. I saw a sock up there, though. Whenever we switch to Sandy, we need a sock. Can you body him? Alright, let's see. So we gotta turn off the generators, then we can use the cannons? Yeah, let's see if... What happens if I try to use it now? Oh, okay, so we gotta... So we're just arming the cannons. Okay, so we want to arm them all, so it seems like. But we won't actually fire them until they're all off. So let's go ahead and, yeah, let's do that. Let's arm all the cannons. And then we will actually fire them later. So how do I get up here? Can I climb on that rope? I can't. I just fall. Can I get up this way? Oh, my God, I almost fell. My death. Yeah, I can't get up there yet. So it looks like we're just going to have to worry about the generators first. I don't know how we get to these other cannons. I'm pro I think we gotta be Sandy, because you see we, all the stuff we can swing on? I'm pretty sure we're intended to be Sandy, so there's gotta be a bus stop. Stop somewhere. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, so as I was saying, there must be a bus stop somewhere around here I can switch here. But I don't see it yet. And yeah, look, we can go all out here and stuff. What's gonna happen? Like, you see all these platforms we can loop around? Oh, that's how we get to that cannon up there. Jeez, okay. Um, I don't know how we switch characters yet, though, but I'm assuming we need to be Sandy. But yeah, they really overtook- Are you dead ass, Ed Bowie? Alright, so, again, back to the- Okay, jump way too early, almost, jeez. Back to the ship. Let's rock it back. And forth, we'll wait for it to go all the way up. Then we'll jump. And, whoop, there we go. And then now, I guess we're just gonna cross, cause yeah, cause yeah, we armed this cannon already. So I guess we're just gonna go across. I don't see anywhere else to go. So this guy's in my way, though. 
I think I need to miss her, and then we cross. <laughs> that that might help. Now we're gonna also missile this guy. Hit him. Yeah. Throw another one. Hit him again. Kill him. There we go. Blew him right up. All right. Now we're gonna cross bridge. Oh, any interruption. Whoa, why did I go flying off that one? Heck. All right, now we're on their ship. We're in their territory now. We're in the enemy territory. I'm in. I'm in the thing. Get up here. Goodbye, sir. Well, let's destroy that. Look at the front thingy first. Yep. Yep. Blow that up. Okay. Oh, see, we need to be sandy. We could swing right here. I just don't see where we go to change this. Thing. Oh, all right, right here. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> We need to roll and then switch. Right. Unless that's not what we do. I don't know. I don't see how we. Oh, we could. Oh, we can just lasso the guy. Okay. Oh, we just break the generators. Okay. We literally just chop them and they blow up. <laughs> okay. What's it true? Chop. Yeah, I guess we could go. Actually, we can't go back there. Okay, cool, we back up here. Alright, so... I feel like maybe they, what they intended for me to do is roll that thing down and then switch. What the heck? Oh, nigga! I blew up the robot on accident. Hit the thing. Hit the thing! That. You spin the thing, please. Oh my god. Oh, just spin. There. Now let's go switch to Sandy and see if it'll work. I feel like that thing's gonna raise too quick. Or maybe it stays down in two. You know? That might be it. I don't know. We're Sandy now. We're gonna head over there. Yeah, I think it stays down until I actually jump. Now, if I go up, then I could actually swing on this thing. Go. Let's go that way. Ah, okay, I got stuck. This, let's get a bit of air. A oh. oil scare me. Here we go. Hey, Sandy. A little oil that doesn't... What does that even mean? They have like oil, like what? Oil, do you just normally get oil on you in Texas? Is that normal? Like, I don't know, what are you trying to say, Sandy? What does that mean? oil doesn't scare you, you're from Texas. Like, what? So do Texans just normally pour oil on themselves? Like, what? What are the implications? What I say? Ooh! Oh, we gotta go into the I'll take that. Let's go! Right on top of the Flying Dutchman's ship. Alright. We need to go back down, though. I think there was a bus stop down here, actually. Yeah, we can switch back to SpongeBob to turn on this butt. And activate the next cannon. We also need to go back to Sandy to get that sock up there, yeah. We're gonna do that. Actually, I feel like we should do that before we blow up their ship, you know? That sounds... sounds reasonable. Let's hit... actually, I feel like... Go up here. We'll get way better leverage to get the sock. Because, yeah, we actually just need to go, like, right here. Let's just swing. Let's swing to the top of their ship. I don't know what's up here. It could be. Some useful stuff. Not really, it's just some shiny object. When I just realized the sock was literally right above where we switched into Sandy, but let's just grab it now. And there we go. Um, okay, so now we gotta be SpongeBob again real quick. Just to roll the thing, just spin the middle thing. And then, yeah. After we destroy this robot ship, there's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. There we go. Okay. Now let's go back up, switch to Sandy, and then we're gonna destroy the rest, or we're gonna activate the rest of our cannons, and then we'll be good to go to blow up their ship because we turned off all their generators. So we're about to body their ship. They might have had electricity, but we're built, so it doesn't matter. Great, I fell. She's saying it again. I almost called her Texas. My Sandy is saying it again that she's from Texas, so oil doesn't scare her. I don't know what that means. I guess, dude, like, anyone from Texas, do y'all just, like, normally pour oil on yourself? Is that a thing? Is that, is that, is that a thing? 
y'all live in Texas, let me know. Do y'all just pour oil on yourselves? Because I, I lived in Texas for a little bit, but I, I never saw that. But hey, maybe maybe I just wasn't truly in Texas. You know, like I might have been in Texas, but I wasn't in Texas. You know, so maybe I just truly didn't understand the culture. Maybe maybe I just didn't go deep enough into Texas to understand that yes, pouring oil is like a tradition. Maybe y'all just pour oil on yourself. I don't know. Like I said. I'm not from there. I lived there for like a year or two. I'm not actually from there, so I don't know what y'all do. So that's why I need y'all to let me know. Do y'all pour oil on yourselves? Anyways, I keep failing, so excuse me. <laughs> well, I'll just meet y'all when we're back on the Dutchman ship. Go. We got another missile, or we got another button pushed. So I think now we gotta just head up, because I'm pretty sure the last button is somewhere around here. Oh yeah, the last one's right there, so we can actually just jump down. And then, oh, I th oh, so to get back down to SpongeBob, we have to walk around. Um, how do I cancel this? I think I can. I just throw it up. Yep. Go down here and activate the final cannon. Get him. Oh, we gotta go fire it ourselves. Let's see. So the button for that. Oh, I think that's what this is for. So we can get over to uh, the button. Fire the cannon. That makes sense. So it's over there. And there's also a golden spatula up there. So once we fire these cannons, we're gonna end off the episode. So let's go over here. Grab this. Let's go. We're almost at the big number. Now we're one away from the big number. And then... Ready, men? Race! We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! That you did! But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny! It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ha! Ah, never make a deal with a ghost! Deals don't mean anything to me! Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy, hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute. What did you say, Nick? Butter boy, we did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. See, Weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words! If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. Um, so I guess we, have a, we gotta square up with the Flying Dutchman, but I'm glad they let me stay here because we're gonna do that in the next episode. So yeah, let's actually check our progress before we go. So we've gotten one... We've gotten most of the spatulas, actually, so we just need... Ooh, tank, I don't know what that's about. Um, defeat the oh, we gotta actually fight him. Yo, look at they got laser eyes and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna worry about that next episode, and then we're gonna go figure what this one's about. Cause I cause I already I thought I already got that one. No, that one was a path through the goo. That's the one I got. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure the goo tanker is the thing that we closed in the background. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. But for now though. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slap that like button hit, and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications if you want to be informed about every video I upload and you don't want to miss them when they come out. And make sure you do all that stuff, um, you know, subscribe and notifications, but just like the video if you like the video or dislike it if you don't like the video. And if you like this video that much, make sure you know share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, whoever you want to share it to. And if you really, really like this video that much, you might consider putting it down into your favorites playlist. So yeah, next time though, we're squaring up with the Flying Dutchman and finishing off this area. So, till next time, I'll see you guys later. And look at Sandy. She's ready to go. She's ready. She's like, let's start the next episode right now. Let, let me get the next recording going, Sandy. Jeez. Anyways, till next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night.